All right, welcome back to IT Security Labs. In this second video of the Red Team Capstone Challenge, we are going to begin enumerating these machines. We have these three machines here, one that ends with 12, 11, and 13. And our main goal here is to see if we can breach any of those three IP addresses for initial access. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the machines, try hack me. Uh, is this Red Team Capstone? And in here, I'm going to put all those IP addresses in a list. That way I can scan all of them at once. So this is a file called IP, live IPs dot list dot text. And what we're going to do is we're going to run nmap against these machines. And so nmap dash SV dash SC, this is only TCP connections and it's only also just for the three IP addresses top 1000 ports if we hit enter this will begin the scanning process it will take a little while longer so i kind of paused this video for a second and coming here you notice that the results are actually done just for the sake of time but just know that it's the same exact scan uh, for the three ip addresses we have the results in a file called full scan and as you can see it was vv for verbose and i'm going for the list here so nmap sv sc dash il for a list and oa to output to a file in all formats and as you can see we have port 80 open on 12 port 80 open on 13 and also port 80 open on 11 so all three websites all three ip addresses have websites so what i would like to do is i would like to copy actually let's copy the results and put them in our documentation because we need to come uh, with some documentation so here's 11 I guess I could have scanned these individually, but I would like to be able to go through them with you as well. That way we can see what's going on here. Okay, so I'll just copy 11 and come in here. I'm going to document the NMAP results. Let's just put them in our Obsidian notes here so we can easily save them. So that was for 11. Let's go to 12. It is very important that we document everything that we're doing. That way, not only can we track our steps, but if we break something, we want to know what we did. Then for finally for 13, we'll just do this say bash all right so now that we did that and we have our results let's start with 11. so with 11 here um we see that we have 22 and 25 so this is the mail server 11 is the mail server i'll add that as my note as well later but we also have 25 um we don't have a version for this mail server or do we uh we can try to enumerate this mail server using these fields here like hello and all these but for now, let's just say we're going to start with the web application. It's Microsoft IIS. So this is going to be 11. So we'll open a browser and just visit all three sites. And this time we're just looking for the easiest way to get in. So this is going to be 12. This is going to be 13. So my thought process here is this is the default IS server. So I probably need to run GoBust against this to find out more directories. So it's more work than I would like. I just want initial access right now. So 11, I'll pause for a second. 12, it has a login page. So I can start poking on this one. And 13 is also promising. It's an October. It looks like it's CMS, October CMS. So this one will be next. Right now, I'd like to mess with this VPN. So I'll just put my user, Howard. And the password that I put last time. Let's see if we can sign in. It failed. Incorrect username and password. So the username and password doesn't work. Let's remove the password. Let's just give it a username and no password. What we're hoping here is it either would tell us whether the username doesn't exist or not, because I created another user called Howard in IT Security Labs area. Actually, let's use IT Security Labs. This is the user that we have account with. So we just want to see, hey, does it tell me? Maybe that will be that exposure that says the username is valid, but the password is incorrect. Then we can try to brute force or something. Or maybe these are not even valid usernames. So we're going to submit this. And I don't know why, but this is kind of silly and also very CTFE. Uh, I don't think the real world you see something like this, but with a password, you cannot get in. But without a password, we are in. So the account is IT Security Labs. If I hit submit here, I'll download a VPN file, which I can open and try to interact with 
it's a it's an open vpn file that they are opening let's go to my downloads what is this open vpn file called i have so many stuff in here in my downloads folder it's not even funny probably need to clean it up i, I think it's one of these but i don't know let's let's go back to this thing here can we do something with this i'm going to send this to repeater so what i'll do is i'll probably open burp suite so copy that and go to burp and once we open burp suite and follow the prompts which you know it's kind of self-explanatory let's open a browser for burp suite i don't like to use foxy proxy i think the browser is fine and in this burp suite browser i'm going to visit the page you just say hacker and submit so it looks like when you use it once it doesn't want you to use it again so now that with hacker let's intercept on and then let's come back here and hit submit so what we want is let's work with the repeater that way we can um redo th these things so here is our request let's try a couple of things here if i send this with hacker i get this open vpn connection and here is the information i'm already connected to open vpn i think i am so i don't need this open vpn connection here because it's 10 212 yeah that's this i think that's the same uh, subnet but what i want to do is let me mess with these parameters so instead of hacker let me do seven times seven save aside template injection i uh, did it actually find the calculation of 49 <laughs> i don't think this is actually working with save aside template injection i was expe expecting the calculation to be somewhere here so seven times seven maybe let's go to see if we can just cut our losses here and let's go to revshells.com grab our ip address of the kali attacker machine 10511523 10511523 on port 44443 i would like it to be linux reverse shell let's use the make fifo one this one is the one that usually works i'll copy that so if you're going to be doing this in web suite especially using repeater what we probably want to do is url encode this stuff so highlight this right click convert url encode key characters okay and then i need to start my listener so this is four 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 three so netcat it's is that the same port i used yeah okay so now that we did that let's go and see if we can send this it says done nothing did it work uh it didn't work so netcat lvmp four 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 three let's give it a go again so i might have forgotten to put a space let me put a space here and then let's send it oh it's still waiting maybe this thing is slow oh it's actually hanging here let's check and we got a shell so just because it didn't work with other things doesn't mean it didn't work this took a little bit longer of course for me in the background trying multiple things but in this case we are in so what we can do is uh, it's an ls-la to see what we are doing i see a bunch of requests and login.php db connect sounds interesting mostly because there might be some database credentials in here so let's get that file so this shell is a little bit unstable let's stabilize it we want this one was the other one we don't have it so it's not like we did anything wrong okay let's see now can i clear we see that we have these now let's cat db connect with php oh we see a password here this this is the db password and the db uses vpn 
so i might as well document this so what we want probably is this password might be reused somewhere by other people like the administrators so this is on 12. if let's just put them here that way we can have access to these creds later okay okay so if we say sudo dash l you notice that we have the copy binary and if we check this one to see if we can write to it let's dash la uh, let's dash la for this one we cannot write this because it's owned by root but we have the copy binary here and checking the internet for the copy binary linux privilege discussion for the copy binary this document here walks us through maybe the ability to add a new user just like what they're doing right here so use open ssl to generate a user password of pass one two three so i'll do that in my kali i'll just do something like that end up with this then you copy that coming to our notes here we add this that same exact password right here and my user is going to be it security labs itsl and by the way please if you haven't uh, subscribed subscribe now this is really fun stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the etsy password without sudo to the temp folder so what i can do is cd such tmp ls okay so now let's copy etsy password here ls now here's etsy password and then let's append notice that i have a double equal here to the password file my new user it security labs let's make sure that that user is there do not override this but append now cat pass wd i will notice that my it security labs user is down here but let's make sure this is starting with e t and ending with one okay so it did not uh append <laughs> correctly because it okay i didn't do the something right here so let's check for a second okay salt ignite okay i think i did so what i just need to do is maybe let's use single quotes instead of double quote around this because we have seen linux do some funny stuff with this so instead of it secure lab i'll name this one subs subscribe let's do it again that way we end up with two Okay, get pass WD. I'm glad that I checked. All right, now the subscribe user, notice that IT Security Lab is starting here. They had removed this. The subscribe user looks good. Now we let's use our pseudo permissions to copy pass the password to such etc. Pass WD. So it's pretty much replacing the file that is already in pass WD with the one that we have. So now if we do that okay now let's get such etsy such pass wd we should see my subscribe user here switch user to subscribe is this gonna work <laughs> password is i think it was pass one two three yeah pass one two three all our case pass one two three all right <laughs> that was a privilege escalation I actually did have to do this three times that's why i'm so excited but now we are root and we can cd such root and ls la all right i don't see any flags here but i see the seven times seven or all these all open vpn files what would you like to do submit verify compromise at this point since i compromise one host let's end the video here next time when we come back we'll continue on our uh, machines so 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 far 12 is pawned we need 11 
and thirteen, and also see if we can move around the network. This was fun. I hope you're enjoying it. Otherwise, let's continue in the next video.